Hey guys, Happy New Year. So I've taken a break for a little while and I'm going to start to slowly come back. Um, I'm going to show you guys some clips of what I've been up to lately. And I'm going to give you another little living room tour because we actually changed some stuff around. I'll explain everything in a minute. But first I'm going to show you some clips from after Christmas leading up to the new year, I didn't vlog anything for New Year's, but yeah, I'll show you guys those clips first, and then I'm going to give you a living room tour. <laughs> oh, and let's address this. Um, Kristen was home for Christmas, and uh, after Christmas, before she went back to New Brunswick, I asked her to chop off my hair. So, my hair is no longer long. It wasn't extremely long anyway. My hair grows pretty fast. I don't have a lot on the top, but the rest of it grows pretty fast. So yeah, new new year, new hair, right? Okay, so I'll show you guys those clips and I'll come back and I'll show you guys the living room and explain everything that's been happening in here. Where's the squeaker? Get the squeaker, there you go. You're snorting. You're not a piggy, you're a doggy. Give me that donut. That my donut. Nom 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 nom. I hit pumpkin with it. Hit a pump 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 pumpkin. Get your donut, Oni. Where's the squeaky? Get the squeaky. Don't hit me with this. Get the squeaky. Squeak squeak. Do you like it now, do ya? Hmm, you didn't like it Christmas Day, but you like it now. Oh yeah, I just fired it at everybody. Get your butt out of my face. <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> Get him, Odie. Just don't hurt him. Yeah, pumpkin's back to normal. <laughs> Don't squash them. I get things done around here with you pumpkin I'm trying to fill up my pills and stuff for the week my prescriptions and he's like I see you mommy say I see you mommy <laughs> he's trying to reach out through the hole I see you mommy <laughs> you're bad <laughs> But I can't help but laugh at you. Okay, here's some things that I finished in the end of 2023. Dahlia Body Spray from Bath & Body Works. This was really nice. I would get that again. But I'm trying to finish up stuff before I buy new stuff. I'm on a really low buy for this kind of stuff and a no buy. I'm trying a no buy for makeup this year. Um, Tarte Maracuja Setting Spray. It was okay. I like the mister on that, though. This candle from Bath & Body Works. Um, peppermint sugar cookie. This was awesome. I've had this for a few years, though, so I don't think the throw is as good as it normally would have been. And then I have a couple of makeup items. I have this Say Dewy Gel in Spotlight, I think it is. Or is it called Dewy Gel or Glowy Gel? Glowy. There you go. I finished that up. I like that. I use that on my body. I use that the day that we got married, actually, on my shoulders and stuff. I used up a little perfume sample. This is Burberry Her. 
This was in with my uh, birthday present from Jacqueline in November. This smells, it reminds me of something. It reminds me of something from Lush. I would consider buying this in the full size, but I know it's extremely expensive. And then last but not least is a mascara. And this is from Lawless. And there was nothing crazy great about this, so I probably wouldn't buy this kind again. I have my personal computer in my bedroom now. Um, I'll show you guys a little tour of the living room because it's changed around a little bit. But I'm just doing updates because it's been a while since this computer's been on. Hi, Pumpkin. Kaylee, Kaylee's toys under there. And I have a lot of updates on my life that I will fill you guys in on at some point. So, yeah, I'm just letting this start up so I can make sure everything's up to date and working okay. And, uh, yeah, that's what I've been up to right now. Okay, so that's what I've been up to until now. Today is, like, January 7th. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been up to. So I told you I changed the living room around. And the main reason I did is because I'm no longer working from home. So the computer um, that was in my bedroom, I, I showed you guys that in a clip. Um, it's gone, like my work computer. So the, my personal computer that was in the living room... I decided to move that in the bedroom because I don't do sit down like makeup videos anymore. Not a lot anyway. And if I do, I like to sit at the kitchen table because there's better lighting in there. I do have a ring light. It's behind the TV. But anyway, regardless, there's still room on my vanity. I'll give you guys a vanity tour too. But there's still room on my vanity for me to do my makeup and to use my computer. So, the living room isn't the neatest right now, just so you know, but it's it's decent. So, we did do some changing around, so I'm just going to... Most of it's the same, but I'm a little bit changed, so let me show you guys. Okay, so when you walk in, you still see this bookshelf. Everything's been dusted and mopped and cleaned. All the furniture's been pulled out, and we still have, like, the cat tower... My vacuum has to go there. There's nowhere else for it. It's a small apartment. Please don't mind this. Tigger pulled that apart when we first moved in here. I'm going to have to paint it, but there's no point to doing it until we're moving out because he'll just destroy it again. So, yeah, the Odie's bed is right here by our bedroom door. Then there's the rocking chair, the cat tower, the vacuum, and the bookshelf, which has been changed around a little bit. Picture of me and Mike from the wedding. And my little calendar and a couple of books. And I just reorganized it a little bit. Okay, so then the couch is still in the same spot. Don't mind the blankets on there. I keep them on there to uh, keep the pet hair off it a little bit. And like all this is still the same. But here's where the big difference is. The computer... Hi, Pumpkin. I didn't even know you were over there. The computer desk is gone from here. So there was always a tote right there that I had a few extra things in. That's moved right there next to the couch, and it has Pumpkin's bed on it. He sleeps on it in his toy box. These are two TV tables that used to be under the couch, but they collected so much dust that we decided to just tuck them in there. So the bookshelf, the TV used to be right here but against our bedroom door, and then the bookshelf, and then the computer desk, and then the ladder for the blankets. And the lamp, it was all just like cluttered. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I got a lot more room in here. And uh, Pumpkin likes to lay on that and try to pull it down because the robot vacuum is in there. So he likes to like pull it. Now, can I ask your guys a suggestion for anything? I might try our little gingerbread house's idea. But I wiped this completely off with uh, lemon pledge wipes. There's still, there's still, oh, look at the scratch on that. Where'd that come from? Anyway, um, the pet here still collects on here no matter what. So I need to figure out a way to pick up the pet here when I'm dusting because it just stays. Pumpkin, that blanket's not for you to lay on. <laughs> I can't be mad at him though. He just lays there. So yeah, in my bedroom now. I got my computer on because I was going to play The Sims for a little while. So that's just stuff that sits on the chair. But here's my makeup section. So I still have like enough room to sit and do my makeup. Then I have my computer. And this stuff gets tucked in when I'm not using it. It goes under this lifter. And then I have my fan there and the towers in behind there. So I can still game with my Sims games. And then 
I can kind of come over and shuffle over to this side to do my makeup when I want. Yeah, I've been decluttering. I've been organizing. I've been cleaning. And that's just how I brought in my new year. And I figured I'd do one room at a time. The kitchen is not done. I'm going to do the bathroom next, I think. I have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday, just like a basic one. There's stuff going on with us that I will update you guys on eventually. I'm just not comfortable talking about it right now. I need to um, get things. My friends know. <laughs> Jacqueline and our little gingerbread house know. And like, there's a couple of people that know stuff that know me from YouTube. But there's a couple of people that know me from YouTube that live in my, my town as well. So there's some people that knows what's going on. And I will. You guys are like friends to me. So I promise I will give you guys a full update of everything that's been going on when I'm comfortable doing it. So I hope you guys are okay with that. But anyway, that's what I've been up to so far in the new year. Maybe I'll take you guys along with me when I do the kitchen. Because the kitchen's going to be a big one. Because I want to <sighs> take out everything out of the cupboards and reorganize everything. And give it a good cleaning. So... Pumpkin's 100% better from after his surgery, so that's good. And I think I'm going to do another project pan. Like I said, I'm mostly a vlog channel now, but makeup is where I start it, and I'd like to still sprinkle little makeup things in here and there. So I think I'm going to do a project pan for 2024. I've been trying to gather together some stuff. I'm trying to think of a palette that I want to work on this year because I, I like focusing on a palette. I'm thinking about my Too Faced Gingerbread Spice because I think that's the oldest one in my collection right now. I really have to look through. But, yeah. And I still, you know what? <laughs> my sister got me a eyeshadow palette for my birthday. Mike got me the Scooby-Doo palette for my birthday. And I got one, two, three Too Faced palettes for Christmas and a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for Christmas. I haven't put on makeup I haven't used any of them. I swatched Scooby-Doo. I didn't swatch the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I swatched all the Too Faced palettes, and I, but I didn't uh, swatch the ColourPop Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer palette. I don't want to touch it. It's so pretty, but I mean, what's the sense of asking for stuff if you're not going to use it, right? So, I'm thinking about... I'm not going to do it for YouTube, I don't think, because I just... I might... At some point, but if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, what I might do is take a palette and do a few looks with it and post the pictures of the looks on Instagram. I just have to build myself up to get into the makeup mood again because I just haven't been wearing this. I don't know. I just got in a rut, I guess. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Take care of yourself and each other, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Bye, everyone.